All right, hello everybody. Welcome to PE with Mr. P. I am Mr. P. Today, I get to introduce you to Bruiser from Bandage Paws. We're gonna do a breathing exercise called finger breathing. We have a little warm up we're gonna go through. We're gonna crush our core workout and we're gonna finish with a game of golf. So, to get started, this is Bruiser. He is a bully breed mix. He is a large, large, friendly dog. He loves playing with other pups and playing fetch. That is my kind of dog. So that is Bruiser. Next up, we are going to do a little bit of finger breathing just to get our breaths nice and in sync, get a little comfortable with the room and ready to exercise. So how this works, you're going to hold out a hand, take a finger, place it on the wrist right below where the thumb is. You're gonna take a breath in through your nose on the way up, and you're gonna breathe out your mouth on the way down the finger. Okay, once we get to our next finger, breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth on the way down, and so forth all the way through our hand. We're gonna do this twice. If you need to do a couple more reps with it, absolutely, otherwise we're gonna get going. So. When we're taking our breaths in through our nose, we're trying to make our belly as big as possible and fill up our diaphragm. So when I'm taking my breath in through my nose, I can feel my belly getting bigger. Think of it like a balloon. When I'm breathing in, I'm filling the balloon up. And when I'm breathing out, pretend there's a little pinhole in the balloon and it's slowly letting the air out. So first time, let's go. Breathing in through your nose. Out through the mouth. Through the nose, out through the mouth, in, and in through the nose, out through the mouth, and we're going to go through it once more. Let's switch hands, let's switch hands. So going on this hand, I'm just going to go through it, I'm not going to talk you all through it this time. So. There we go. I'm feeling much more calm and ready to work out now. So we have a little warm up we're going to go through. Our exercise is mostly correlated. So I'm going to try to get our midsection a bit warmed up. Otherwise, we are just going to start with jogging on the spot like usual. We will be on our elbows and our hands a little bit. So I'd like to get our arms warm. We can just move those all about. Not too crazy, you know, just nice and light. Don't want anyone getting hurt in the warm up. Now we're gonna do some butt kicks and we're gonna pump our arms up. And making big circles. And high knees. trying to pump our arms. All right, next we're going to do a little bit of trunk rotations. So again, we're not doing anything too violent. We're just turning side to side. You should feel a little resistance at the end, but we're not pushing through too hard. Next, we're gonna take, I'm gonna take my right hand, lean all the way over as much as I can. Back up and back down. If you can reach much further than me, that is a good thing. It means you're doing something right. I'm going as low as I can, but flexibility, not what it used to be. 
We're not exactly going for distance either, just for whatever feels right. Couple more rotations. All right, hopefully you guys and girls are all feeling good after that. If you need a little extra warm up, please do. If you need to grab some water, absolutely. So we are gonna be doing a core workout. This workout is about 15 minutes and I chose to shorten the workout up a bit just because we are only focusing on our core today, right? I don't wanna work us too hard when we're doing our core exercises. So to start, we're gonna do a dead bug. What that looks like, you're gonna be on your back with your knees up and your hands in the air. I'm gonna take my left foot and my right hand. I'm gonna bring it back and back up. Nice and in control, then I'm gonna switch. Nice and in control. We're not swinging, it's not a race. If that's too hard, and you can only do your arm, bring your arm back and up, and your other one. Or if that's a little too easy, you could just do your legs. One leg down, one leg up. But if you could do both and just alternate it, that is ideal and that is something to work towards. Next up, we're gonna do a body saw. Sounds dangerous, but it's not. You're gonna be down in a plank position. And what you're doing, you're moving your body forward and back. Try to keep your butt low. You will feel this in your core. When you're moving up, try not to rest yourself like this. Always keep a bit of distance. You will feel that very quickly. Uh, after that, we're going to do a plank up and down. So I'm going to start in a push-up position. I'm going to go down to a plank, back up. Down to a plank, back up. Try to alternate which hand you're going down with and back up with. And that is that. After that, you're doing a lateral plank walk. So I'll show you from the front. I'm going to start in a push-up position. I'm going to walk my right foot and hand out, bring my left one in, walk my right out, come back. Next, I'm going left. When I'm doing this one, I definitely have to focus on trying to keep my butt down. I like to bring it up a little too much sometimes. Just like that. And our very last one is our bird dog crunch. So, we are on our knees and hands like this. I'm gonna take my left foot and right hand, bring it out, bring it back in, and reset. Then I'm going with the opposite, just like that. Try to bring your elbow into your knee. So when I'm here, I'm out like that, bring it right in, and reset. Nice and in control. We are not racing, try not to race people, go at your own speed, but try to go at a constant speed if you can. If you can be exercising the entire time we're going, that is great. If you need to take a little rest, that's fine too. Always working out with something. Grab a little bit of water and we are going to get started. So we're going to be exercising for 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, you get a five second break. Just to switch to the next exercise, we're going to do that four times, and let's get at her. Starting with dead bug on your backs. All right, body saw.
plank up and down. If you need to modify these and do them on your knees, that's fine too. guys and girls need to do maybe the body saw and you need to modify it just be on your knees try to come out and back uh, same thing goes for your plank up and down here here you can totally do it on your knees and that is fine Woo, grab a drink and need some water Good job, everybody. Three more rounds. Already almost done. When we get to halftime, you guys and girls all get a joke. It's a good one, too. It's a good one. All right, dead bug. Plank up, down.
and bird dog crunches. That is halftime already. Grab a drink of water. You guys know why the uh, the golfer wears two pairs of pants? Give you a minute to think about that one. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one. In case he got a hole in one. A good one. All right, dead bug. Up down. hard to go back and forth, just stay in one spot and hold it. And if you need to drop to your knees, that is okay too. Alright. One more round, yeah, one minute left. Let's try to finish strong. If you started out without modifying anything and you need to start, that is totally fine. I have begun doing that as well. If you can make it through the whole thing, that is great as well. If not, it gives you something to work up to.
Your core, your shoulders are going to be very sore right now. Real tired. We're almost done though. And we'll be starting off with dead bugs again. I mixed up the order a little bit in the second half, just to take it a little pressure off your arms. Dead bugs. Crunches. Two more. Great work, everybody. Grab a quick drink of water. I'm going to get us set up in our game. So, we are going to play a little bit of golf. You guys and girls can play this a few different ways. I'm just going to set out a plate. I'm going to try to hit it onto here. If I don't get it onto here, that's okay. The lip on the plate is a bit higher than I'd like. If you guys have other items around the house, that is great. All you need, I'm just going to use my Gatorade bottle. Uh, I'm going to use this as my golf club. And I have this emoji ball as my golf ball. If you have any sort of small toys, any small balls at home, you can use those. Uh, I usually use rolled up pair of socks. You could definitely use that for this as well. It's not going to go in exactly a straight line, but that's okay. We're just going to have a little bit of fun here. So I'm going to try to take this ball and hit that plate in the fewest amount of strokes possible. So if I want to put the plate up here, then I'm going to start back here. I'm going to try to hit the ball into the plate. So I'm going to try once. And 
I missed. So I gotta go get it again. That was my first swing. That's my second swing. And I hit it, okay? So we would say, when I started back there, it took me two hits to get the ball to the plate. Uh, if that's too easy, you guys and girls, be creative, use your houses. If you got lots of room to play with, that's awesome. If you gotta use the backyard, if you have a small space to even play with, you can still try and be creative with it. You can try to hit the ball off of obstacles. You can try to hit the ball around obstacles. If you have siblings, kids, parents at home, try to challenge them to one of your courses. I'm very curious what you guys and girls could all come up with, and please let me know. All right, thank you very much. Have an awesome day.